What we do here at the Spartan Life is part of a respected tradition that dates way back to the mid-90s. It's been given the popular name machinima, which comes from something to do with machines and animas. But be that as it may, few would dispute the important role played in all this by the Ill Clan, whose work in the last decade has really helped put machinima on the map. So please welcome Frank Delario. Woohoo! Yeah, I got sword. No, wait, Frank. Um, and Matt Dominiani. Woohoo! Hey, what's up, Damien? Oh, I'm getting that shotgun. Get out of my way. Shotgun, shotgun. Hang on a second. Yeah, shotgun, that's right. No, that's my shotgun. It ain't your shotgun now. No, I always have that with me. Matt, Matt, wait. Um, no, you, you're the guest, you know, and... What? And you should get first choice of weapon, but... You see, it's, it's sort of like a personal friend. What are you talking about, personal friend? That's kind of weird, Damien. No, really. It, it talks to me. Seriously. Oh, it talks to you? It, what's it saying now? Lost the lead. Ha ha, yeah. <laughs> wow. Hi, cameraman, too. Hey, don't smudge the lens. Where are you? Da oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Like your armor there, it's pretty, uh... I have an exoskeleton that's, uh... I'm sure you're pretty impressed by, and, uh... Sorry about that, Damien. But you asked for it, you know. It's okay. Uh, I know you had to get that out of your system. But, you know, the point of the show is to attempt to rise to a higher level of discourse, Matt. Yeah, I understand that. In fact, I myself, I, I'm sick of all the violent games. But revenge is important, too. Hello, Phil. Wow, what a messed up death animation. His head is, like, stuck in the concrete. That's all that's left of Matt is that stain on the floor. Okay, here I am. And look, I don't have a gun now, so I can't kill anyone. You can have your gun back when you learn to behave yourself. But really, I'm, I'm glad you guys can make it for the interview. Well, it's our pleasure. Thanks for having us. Well, you're welcome. Let's just take a walk up here. It's safe, I promise. Hey, Frank, come here. Yeah. You know, he just did that whole thing with, you know, looking for an apartment. But doesn't that yeah. seem a little familiar? Yeah, I was watching that. I was kind of, I was going to say something. I mean, we made apartment hunting with Quake in 1998, man. Yeah, that's right. You're ripping us off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh hey, sorry about yeah, that. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, buddy, Damien. Dude. Damien, what's up, man? We love that little bit you just did, man. That yeah. was funny. It Where'd was... you get that idea? Oh, well, you know, stuff just comes to you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, that whole apartment hunting thing, you know? Oh, you guys are into real estate, too. Well, yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts about this property. I like the plaza. What do you think? Check out the glass floor you know, for the Hitchcock effect. Can you see up my exoskeleton? Matt, what can you tell us about the origin of the Old Clan? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story because this was eight years ago, so this is back, you know, the original 3D game, Quake. We would play Quake all night long, and being that we're filmmakers and animators and whatnot, it just kind of occurred to us, hey, we could probably, you know, make a movie with this. Let's check it out. And we really had an interest in getting involved in game development, but we figured maybe making a movie would be a good way to start. Of course, we didn't call it Machinima back then, we just called it Quake Movies. So, presumably you weren't just gamers. I mean, you had some background in film or something? My background is, uh, is animation and uh, cartoons. And I did a little bit of work in film, but really Frank mostly did a lot of work in film. Oh, sorry, I was taking a leak off the edge there. Sorry. You didn't get that on camera, did you? Yeah, I worked in uh, film for a little over 11 years as a uh, key grip and, and a dolly grip. Key grip? Yeah, we could, we could use a grip around here sometimes. These fusion coils are always getting in the way. They're dangerous. I've got a lot of experience in that, so you know I can pretty much handle. Oh, oh, oh man. man! Oh my God! Look, he's quivering. He's twitching in in his death rows. Hmm. Pardon me, peaches. Weird. Respawn right next to camera. What? Oh, hey. Let's see. Shotgun, grenades. It's always weird to shake down your own corpse. Ah, there we go. It's better that there's only one of me. So I want to talk to you guys about your work and your technique. But check this out down here. It's kind of a shortcut. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Landed right on top of you there. So, I'm sorry that Paul Marino, your other founding member, couldn't make it. Paul is also known as the head of the Academy of Machinima Arts and Sciences, right? Yeah. And he also wrote the book on machinima. 
So when the Ill Clan sets out to make a machinima piece, you say you storyboard it and you do the pre-production. Well, when doing custom work, whether for our own personal projects, for projects for hired for or whatnot, pre-production takes just as long as any 3D film because you have to create the, all the assets, the environments, and it's like filmmaking. It's like you know, like carpenters on a film set. You got to create the environment, the sets, the props. But then on the virtual set, you use multiple cameras, like television. Generally, we only do one. We do it like a typical film set, where everything's about that one shot. But again, we've programmed camera controls to allow us to set multiple camera positions and then just swap between them. Well, really, teleporting camera people. Why don't we have that, Sherry? Hey, back off. You're messing up my shot. Okay, okay. So is that a hack? Yeah, we took the code that was in Quake 2, which makes, you know, there's these teleporters where if you walk through them, suddenly you come out in a different room. And we just took that code and made it so that we just hit the keys and we just jump wherever we need to be. So you really get that sense of a multi-camera TV studio, even though it's just it's one cameraman that teleports from one position to another. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Of course, it's nice to travel by Banshee, too. We've got some right over here. Last one to the top is Rotten Egg. Sorry, Matt, there's only two. Okay. Matt is gonna be so angry, man. Check this out, it's a great view up here. What? How did you beat us up here without a banshee? Did you hack the teleporter in this game too? <laughs> Don't knock me over. This is a ledge here. We'll fall Jesus. right Jesus. I'm getting that funny feeling in my... Uh... Now, I know you guys recently have done some really great work for MTV2 and SpikeTV.com and Audi. You make your own assets and you're the only group doing live machinima in which you move the avatars and camera as well as doing the voices live in front of an audience. And I, I think that puts you in a position to have an opinion on where this is all going in terms of just where the industry's going. Uh, Pixar is moving towards machinima. They just can't do it yet and get feature film quality stuff. But once they can, and technology's gonna get there, they're gonna start puppeteering their characters in real time, probably. And then you have people like us who were doing things like little shorts for television and music videos and things of that nature. Whoa, earthquake. And then you'll still have uh, amateurs doing it for fun, which I think is a great thing. Exactly. Generally, the way this ha happens is that it's, it's a technique that people use, and it will be used, I think, by, you know, like Matt was saying, high-end people like Pixar, and artists and amateurs, just like they're able to use a camcorder now. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> guess I never closed the game. Oops. What are you guys doing up here? This could complicate things. <laughs> oh, look out! Oh. That's fortunate, a warthog. Peach, is you here? Bibs on turret gone. Matt, jump in. Let's check the stats. Oh man, it's that kid. What kid? Uh, he's a seriously good player. He just taunts us. He's like nine or something. What's this say? Mr. Poopy Doo Doo? <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Poopy Doo Doo. That's what he calls himself. Let's let's just get inside the building. Thank you, Willis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait for me, guys. Woo! Stark type? Stark What's he doing up there? Just circling that stalactite. Oh, look, it's a stalactite. Weird kid. Come on. Let's just pretend he's not here. I've, I've seen this guy before. If we ignore him, he'll probably just go away. Well, at least he's not shooting at us anymore. I have a few more questions, though, so maybe we just walk a little. What is he doing up there? Bump? He's banging into it now. Bump! Oopsie! Uh, guys? Ooh, double killing! <laughs> okay, well, I want to thank Frank and Matt from the Ill Clan for dropping by. You can see some of their exceptional work at illclan.com. Keep an eye on these guys. <laughs> <laughs>